Patagonia, our mission statement is to build the best product, do no unnecessary harm, and use business to inspire and implement solutions to the environmental crisis. When we needed to expand our distribution center in Reno, Nevada, we looked to the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEED certification standards, as our guide to constructing a green building that balances environmental responsibility, resource efficiency, and the comfort and well-being of our workforce. We set high environmental standards for the 171,000 square foot expansion of our warehouse facility and outlet store. Here are some examples of the efforts we made to mitigate the building's effect on the environment and to meet the LEED Gold Certification Standards. We employed several strategies to manage stormwater runoff. Our distribution center is located on the banks of the Truckee River, so it was important to mitigate the effects of stormwater runoff and parking lot pollution. We installed pervious pavers in the parking lot to allow stormwater to percolate into the ground and ensure that stormwater runoff volumes are the same as pre-development levels. We created detention ponds to capture runoff and installed underground separation tanks to filter sand and oil from stormwater prior to its release into the city stormwater system. We thought carefully about our landscape and exterior design. To conserve water, we planted native plants that require little irrigation. They also provide shade for the building site, helping to lower ambient temperatures. The light-colored parking lot pavers and a white roof membrane reflect heat away from the building rather than absorb it, reducing the heat island effect. To reduce light pollution, exterior light fixtures on and around the building emit zero light beyond the property line at night. Our focus on water efficiency inside the building includes the use of waterless urinals and low-flow toilets. The bathroom faucets start and stop automatically and only release a half gallon of water per minute. The building's energy efficiency is based on minimizing the energy used for heating, cooling, and lighting. In the summer, a night flush vent system replaces the hot air of the day with cool nighttime air. A radiant heat system, using the highest efficiency commercial boilers and ceiling-mounted radiant panels, warms the building on cold days. R30 insulation in the roof and R12 insulation on the walls retain heat in the winter and keep the building cool in the summer. Roof-mounted skylights and smoke vents provide natural light to the interior workspace, while photo sensors and motion detectors are used to shut off lights when area lighting is not necessary. A monitoring system ensures that all building systems are operating at their peak efficiency and that any malfunction is detected early and corrected. 10% of the building materials used were made from recycled sources. Concrete with recycled content fly ash for the walls and floors and recycled steel for the interior columns and roof structures made up the majority of the building materials. 20% of the building materials and products used were manufactured within 500 miles of the construction site, and 50% of the raw materials were derived within 500 miles of the construction site. Nearly all of the wood used in construction was FSC certified, meaning that it was certified sustainable by the Forest Stewardship Council. The finishes and carpets contain low or no VOCs with no urea formaldehyde resins, and 75% of the construction waste was recycled or salvaged. We aim to reduce the impact of our day-to-day -day operations. We've committed to using non-toxic products for cleaning and maintaining the building. We encourage employees to use alternative transportation by offering secure bicycle storage and shower, changing, and locker facilities. We have a hybrid car available for business use, and we offer preferred parking for alternative fuel vehicles, hybrids, and carpoolers. All paper products we use have recycled content, we reuse and recycle everything we can, and because the Reno area does not offer curbside recycling, we accept employees' household recyclables as well. Clear plastic shipping bags are collected, baled, and sold to a company that makes decks and patios out of recycled plastic. We compost our kitchen scraps, donate outdated computers and electronics, and collect used Patagonia polyester garments for recycling into new garments. In addition to making the construction of our new distribution center a model of environmental sensitivity and energy efficiency, we aim to make the operation of this center an example of how doing the right thing for the environment also makes good business sense.